Well, in today's Meet Your Neighbor, Rick Porsche introduces you to a Zachary man who was born 100 years too late. Take a look. This is all I know, really. That's all I've ever done from a little kid is just interested in the cowboy way of life. Ken Ray is a throwback, all the way to the Wild West, to a time of gunslingers, cattle drives. And I've been a custom saddle maker for 35 years. To walk into his saddle shop in Zachary, Louisiana, is to step back in time, to a day when men tipped their hats to ladies and the white hat carried the day. And the Western way of life is uh, going away to some extent. Ken is one of a handful of ranch hands nationwide, undaunted by the fact that we haven't ridden horses to work for nearly a century. Compared to 100 years ago, there's not as uh, plentiful as there once was because we don't ride horses for transportation. Still, he cuts. And it kind of takes some shape for the person right there. Shapes and tools dozens of saddles every year, one at a time, all by hand. They go buy a nice horse, give 20, 30,000 for a nice horse, then they want a saddle to fit that's not gonna hurt them. And that's where I come in. Mass-produced saddles can run 600 to $700. My materials cost more than some saddles cost. Kins start just over 5,000. But, you know, I sit here like this sometimes. I may sit here for nearly a week at the time. Most go to rodeo ropers and barrel riders, but some end up on ranches doing the traditional Western work that keeps the country fed. He said, I love my saddle. I've rode it, worked cows in it. Mm -hmm. He said, I'm, I'm happy about it. Time has a way of catching us all. Here about a month or six weeks ago, I had to go get my first pair of glasses. <laughs> and the ways of the past seem to fade into those dirt trails in our memory. Though today we ride in trucks instead of on steeds, Ken hopes we never lose that Western way of life. It's just a real, true, honest, a lot of integrity. Whatever you're doing in the Western industry, you have a certain amount of dedication and it just teaches a lot more responsibility. Well, Ken ships his custom saddles all over the country and across the world. He hopes when his eyes and his hands give out, his kids will carry on that cowboy life.